operational cruise missiles, essentially unmanned aircraft loaded with explosives, came into prominence during World War II. After the war, the United States developed several air-breathing missiles, but these were limited in performance by available guidance system technology. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, interest turned to ballistic missiles. However, by the early 1970s, it was clearly evident that a new long-range cruise missile was needed to counter the growing threat to world peace. By that time, the McDonnell Douglas Astronautics Company had achieved a major breakthrough in guidance system technology and in the use of advanced microprocessing techniques. Along with this new guidance technology, miniature jet engines and lightweight warheads made possible the development of the Tomahawk cruise missile. McDonnell Douglas Astronautics Company has been a leader in the design, development, and production of cruise missiles since 1971 and is proud to be a part of providing the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Air Force with a deep interdiction capability unrivaled by any other weapon system in the world. The Tomahawk Cruise Missile, the defensive edge. A cruise missile is basically an unmanned jet aircraft. Unlike a ballistic missile, it is powered throughout its flight and is fitted with guidance systems to adjust its course as it moves toward the target. Armed with mission-tailored warheads, Tomahawk can be launched from surface ships, submarines, and ground launchers. Flying an evasive route at low altitudes and high subsonic speeds, it can strike land or ship targets with incredible accuracy and with devastating effectiveness. Three specialized McDonnell Douglas-developed guidance systems are employed, one for ship attack missiles, the other two for land attack missiles. The ship attack Tomahawk guidance system is an outgrowth of the McDonnell Douglas Harpoon anti-ship missile system. But it incorporates longer radar search range, more computer memory, a passive target identification system, and an operational range of several hundred miles. After launch, the missile flies a pre-programmed search area. As it approaches and selects the target, it initiates a deceptive attack maneuver a low-altitude flight profile designed to conceal its launch direction and elude enemy defenses. The Tomahawk land attack missile guidance, used in both the ground and sea-launched missiles, weighs about 100 pounds and employs terrain correlation, or TERCOM, for navigation updating. Prior to launch, the system is programmed with the location of the launch platform and the intended target. Operating autonomously, the guidance system then directs the missile to the target over a circuitous flight path that has been generated by the mission planning system. As the missile hugs the contour of the Earth, its downlooking radar sends out signals to read the terrain below. It then checks what it sees against the correct map stored in its miniature computer. If a navigation error is sensed, impulses are sent to the missile control services to bring it back on course. Operational range is approximately 1,500 miles. The downlooking radar operates continuously to permit the missile to follow the terrain at very low altitudes and evade radar detection. For conventional strikes on specific targets, a digital scene matching area correlation system, or DSMAC, is added for even greater terminal accuracy. Taking over after TURCOM has guided the missile to the target scene, DSMAC compares optically sensed scenes of natural terrain and man-made installations with scenes stored in the missile's computer. Using this more discriminating information, the guidance system aligns the missile for a direct hit. A high-powered illuminator provides equally effective operation at night. McDonnell Douglas Astronautics Company also developed the theater mission planning system. This system is a complete interactive route development and analysis package that allows a mission planner to establish a cruise missile route from launch to impact. The system computes and models missile performance, terrain, TURCOM maps and their locations, and provides display and analysis of defensive systems that might be encountered by a cruise missile en route to its target. Using the interactive theater planning system, a complete cruise missile mission from launch to target can be planned in an hour including the development and verification of the entire flight mission tape. A rapid strike planning system provides the capability for precision conventional strike planning. Specifically, it gives the mission planner the capability to prepare DSMAC scenes in near real time 
and to derive precise latitude, longitude, and elevation values of the DSMAC scenes and potential targets. The Developmental Mission Planning Center is located at McDonnell Douglas in St. Louis, Missouri. McDonnell Douglas is also responsible for the development and procurement of hardware for the weapons control system. This system is used for both ground and ship launched missiles and performs initialization and pre-launch monitor and control of the missile. Display and data entry terminals interface with the control processor to provide the operator with targeting information and missile status, which is used to control the missile targeting and launching process. Critical warhead signals are controlled by this system to prevent an inadvertent or unauthorized missile launch. The weapons control system is manufactured at the Tomahawk production facility. All shipboard units are thoroughly tested in the acceptance test facility in St. Louis before delivery to the customer. In April of 1983, the Joint Cruise Missile Project selected McDonnell Douglas as the system engineering and integration agent for the Tomahawk weapon system. Basically, the responsibility of this task is to provide technical direction as required to designated hardware and software suppliers. This assures that the design and or performance of their respective part, subsystem, or system functions are in harmony with the total weapon system. McDonnell Douglas manufactured Tomahawk cruise missiles are produced in an all upground production facility in Titusville, Florida. Utilizing the latest technology, the facility is a modern example of cost-effective quality production and testing operations. State-of-the-art computer-controlled machine tools are utilized in machining operations. This specially developed mill, in one time-saving setup, machines the inside diameters of cruise missile body sections, an operation which formerly required costly multiple setups. Other machine tools include a Pratt & Whitney computer numerical control vertical milling machine, this Giddings & Lewis horizontal boring mill, a strip it stamping machine, and this precise electron beam welder that fuses missile body parts. All are examples of a strong commitment to provide the highest level of machining quality. Sub-assembly areas employ modern, efficient manufacturing methods such as this wire bundle assembly area. Guidance system assembly and testing in St. Louis combines qualified personnel and complete facilities to produce Tomahawk guidance sets of superior reliability. All sub-assemblies come together in the final assembly area, where all up-round Tomahawk cruise missiles take shape. Online testing is an integral element in final assembly, with each sub-assembly undergoing required tests during the procedure. Completed Tomahawk cruise missile all-up rounds are subjected to more acceptance tests, delivering the highest level of quality control to assure operational success. Experience, dedication, and commitment of McDonnell Douglas to produce and deliver the highest quality products will enable our armed forces, with the highest degree of confidence, to fully utilize Tomahawk as a deterrent to aggression and to maintain a defensive edge.